Well, hello, my friends. Today, we're going to be going over a highly coveted trick. That is the kickflip. And I've got a tip that will literally change everything for you. So let's get into it. So obviously, there's two parts to every kickflip, right? The pop and the flick. The flick is the hardest part. And that is the bit that I've got the tip for. So we're going to go over that in a second. But first, I'm going to give you your foot position and how you're going to want to pop the back end of the board. So the foot position for the front foot can be very versatile you can pretty much have it wherever you feel most comfortable personally i have my toes just before the front four bolts so front foot at like a 45 degree angle facing that way i've also been known if i want more of a like whippy controlled flip to have the foot a little bit further off the board this just gives you an easier little roll off but we'll cover that in a minute the tail basically what you're going to need here is your back foot right in the center and i'm going to explain to you why so if you have your back foot off to the right side or off to the left side even a tiny bit and not directly in the center when you pop the board from that side it's going to turn slightly as you saw it came towards me and the exact reverse is going to happen if we pop it from the other side it's just going to fold that way so make sure you have your back foot dead center of the tail and the more dead center you have it the straighter and easier it's going to be to control. So what you're going to do for this new hack of the kickflip is you're going to raid your mum or your sister's drawer and get yourself one of these. Maybe ask permission. This is like a hair clip thing. Baze, if you want to zoom in on that for me. This is like a little hair clip. As long as it can pinch and grip a part of the board, it's going to help you massively. And we're going to use this to figure out exactly how we're going to flick the board. Baze, if you'd like to join me and Dwayne over here. So for me, I skate regular, right? So my feet are like this, facing that way. If you were to skate goofy, your feet would be like this and you would just do the exact parallel of what I'm about to show you with the clip. So for me, I'm going to put it exactly where I want to flip the board, which is just before the concave here. And you can just clip that on like that and then put your board back down. Now, what we're aiming to do here is literally just kick that clip off the board. Just one like karate kick while rolling the ankle as you go. So watch my foot closely. As you can see, it starts flat and then goes like this. It's like a, imagine the Nike tick, but you're just hitting it with your foot like that. Little tick, boom. Right, and now that we're on the board, we're going to put it just like this to start us out. We're just going to put our front foot right where I suggested and then just go like that. Literally just roll it off, roll the ankle and knock the clip off. Now, I didn't actually learn kickflips like this myself, but I've used this tip to teach other people and I've heard that it works amazing. So basically, literally just keep practicing that, have that foot in that position and then just flick it off. Once you feel like you've got a nice consistent flick where the ankle rolls and just pings the board, now what we're going to do is we're going to try and combine that with the pop. So remember, dead center of the tail, most important part. Have your feet like this and then just aim to pop and flick it off at the same time. And hopefully that should give you a nice form of a kickflip. Bear in mind this bit is going to take a lot and it requires less effort than you think. So don't just pop and then kick like you're trying to half a football across 200 yards. Just pop and a light controlled ankle flick should come straight off. As you can see, as you can see the hair clip pinged off, but the board stayed nice and controlled under my feet. Yeah, we flipped it a tiny bit too much, but we'd rather that and it stay controlled than just pinging it off in any direction. So what the goal of the clip is, this isn't gonna be your go-to thing every time you do a kick flip. This is just to teach you how to get a controlled flick. So obviously I'll show you one final time, put that on there, and then when you pop, just aim to flick it off and it should keep the board nice and firm underneath you. Just like that. Use this as your point of reference, but once you've got that flick down, it's time to chuck it to the side and iron out those creases for real. So now that we know how to flick it, the best order of business you can do is either take it to the grass to practice your commitment. I'm not gonna show you right now because you know what it looks like to do it in the grass. And obviously it's quite wet right now, so I'm not gonna bother showing that, but basically just put the board in the grass and just practice what I just showed you and try and land on top of it. What you do with the back foot once you flick to the board, so you pop, you flick, and then what? Then how do you get back onto the board? So basically, is as you pop, you're gonna do that flick at the exact same time, and to keep yourself over the board, you're gonna to wanna to practice the movement. So you jump, flick, and then bring it back straight away. So flick and then back, flick and then back. Just like, just like this. So when you're in the air, it's gonna look like this. Just so you get used to kicking that leg out and bringing it back in again. And the back foot will just hover over the board. 
If you notice that when I do my kick flips, the front foot flicks it and it kind of pushes it back up onto my back foot. So the back foot just hovers over the tail and if you get a nice enough flick, it will just suck back up to your feet. Just like that. 